In March of 2012, Tiffany Halston visited a Chinese orphanage eager to meet the little girl she would soon adopt. Two-year-old Isla was very quiet at first, but because UAB Dr. Jennifer Chambers had previously met Isla, Halston knew the little girl was actually a bundle of energy. It was nice to know that someone had seen that personality before we went because we knew it was in there somewhere even though it wasn't coming out right at first. Chambers made a trip to China in July 2011 to meet the children of the Maoming Orphanage, including Isla, thanks to a partnership between Lifeline Children's Services, the UAB International Adoption Clinic at Children's, and the Chinese government. Meeting the kids firsthand gives Chambers the ability to provide potential parents with more information than the child's file would supply. That's what you can't really tell on a piece of paper, good what job. that personality good is like. Job. And is this child going to be a, you know, fit, a good fit in our family? And so a lot of the information we're able to gather just can't be gleaned from a file. Um, a great example of that is the Down syndrome children, you know, because you just have to meet them, you know, and you just have to see their, their fun personalities. Chambers and her team made another trip to China in April 2012 to visit several more orphanages. Between the two trips, they've seen nearly 350 kids, many of which Chambers says may not have been as easily adopted because their files listed them as special needs, which medically could mean something as minor as a burn or as major as a heart problem requiring surgery. As an adoptive parent herself, Chambers finds it rewarding to help others in this way. Parents want to know information. That's what's scary is the lack of information, you know. And once they get that information, they feel like that they can make a better, a more informed decision. And the fears are actually lowered and the um, more appropriate matches are made between a, a family and a special needs child. Tara Bremer hopes to soon be matched with one of the children Chambers met on the most recent China trip. She says she appreciates the additional information she will be provided when a match is made. Being able to talk to a person about any challenges that we'll have and to know that she could potentially have her hands on a baby for us like, you can't put a dollar on that, you know? Because of its numerous benefits, Chambers hopes someone from her team, including the clinic's family therapist, Kelly Curry, will visit China every three months. So I think the push may be to move adoptions kind of towards what we're doing and what we're able to do. I mean, this is kind of like a pilot program, if you will, right now.